what the president did on uh, 20, France 24 uh, for me was very unfortunate. Unfortunate? Very unfortunate because, you see, he gave himself out. In one breath, he said the president is not responsible for jailing uh, uh, people, which is a fact. But you go ahead and make the point that uh, it is their behavior that lands them behind bars. As we speak, has any court tried these people for, 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 for us to conclude that their behavior fell for uh, flat of the laws? They have not been tried, and so nobody can make the point that their behavior is what has landed them there. In, in fact, as uh, uh, Eduji said, it is the presidency through the new, the new patriotic party, through the executive, trying to let people shut their mouths. Because they have set time with that number that if they do not fight this issue of gallops, if they allow it to become a topical issue, then their party will lose. And I'm very surprised where they are getting this information from, that in 2020, the NPP lost uh, uh, some seats mm. because of Gallup. So where, where is this? Uh, no, because uh, of the conduct of the NDC parliament. But candidate. why must you must not, not? No, no, no. You must not. No, no, no. Please, 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 speaking you tend to be very intrusive it is not only it is not only discourteous it is it is not it is not it is not, re it is not respectful to all of them so i i, I have categorically said mr kojo mr kojo please 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 please, please. Let's, be, let's be civil towards each other no 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 please your mic is off your mic is off i i am i am saying i am saying i am saying please listen to me unless you want to come and moderate i am saying categorical no 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 please no 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 please no please please so no I am I saying, I, I am saying, I said that you didn't Mr. Koyo Poku, listen to me. If you, if you want to make, if you want to make an interjection, that means that you have the whole time to do a rebuttal. I agree. But I at that point, at, at, that, at that, that, that point, you cannot make that interjection. What but, you can do but, but is to just make a call. Then you say that I'll come back to it. That yes, is fair. But, point, but okay, where you take the time, no. two, three, four minutes, you want Already, to respond to the person. It's not fair. Please, please take your time, you narrate it down. And then when you come to your point, I think all of us can have a very good conversation. I'm sitting here. There's nothing wrong with that. You still will sit there and have your turn. I said, no, what I did not say. So All you right, say that, but you don't have a time in it. So then let's go ahead. But say what I said, no, what I did not say. Because so, I'm so, so what I'm saying is, Mr. Koyo Poko, no, are you I trying to intimidate your co-panelists? No, but how can you intimidate you anybody? Because because nobody can be intimidated by your Because, 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 so you have so your test. You can make an intimidation. You can, you can make, you can make a comment. You have said that, it's not fair, it's not fair. Mr. Koyo Poko, it's not fair. Mr. Koyo Poko, it's not fair. 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 No, 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 I am saying, is this what I am brother? saying, and I'll demonstrate it. When you, you can say, I didn't say that, that's fair. But when you take the time from that point, you want to go on and further explain. It is, un, okay, it is, it so is not I'll, fair. I will interject Be and make a point and then come back. That is fair. Let's go, let's and and then we don't want recurrent interjections. No, because that means that, that means that, that is mean, it, it means that it becomes a strategy to truncate the flow of your no, co-panel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solomon, yeah, please go ahead. But, 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 why he that? but the point no, is, that, the point still remains that it is very, very interesting that a party that is in government, that has all the powers to deal with issues, is now telling us that because of politics, because of the fear of losing votes, Ghanaians must die. That's what they are telling us. Hmm. That, we, yes, we know the water bodies are polluted. Yes, we know the forest it's been destroyed, but because if we decide to deal with it, Ghanaians will not vote for us. We are not going to deal with it, and that they will push the blame to an opposition. What power does the opposition have? If you are not telling us that the opposition have more power than you, then what is your business being in power or seeking to to to, to lead this country again? For me, what I, did he say that make you conclude that he says the opposition is more powerful? No, no, but he's saying that when they make any time they make any attempt, the opposition will be fighting them somewhere. And that is not making the fight so, uh, 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 what do you call it? Effective. Effective. And for me, I find it very difficult. Then he mentioned the fact that opinion leaders, lecturers and so on, started fighting against the president when he decided to fight Galamsey. I just had a, a test message from a lecturer 
in uh, UPS, Dr. Robert Usubuachi, he was he's asking, Mercy just one name of a supposed opinion leader or lecturer that kicked against the, the fight against Gallup. Say, you want me to do that or do that after? When it gets to your turn. Okay. The truth of the matter is that the presidency, as you have been told by Professor Fripo Bwati, is amply involved in this Gallup say business. And that is why we are not see, seeing to an end to this battle. Names were mentioned. At one point, the president met uh, uh, Professor from Bob Watin and Sir John in a meeting, three people. Sir John, uh, uh, Professor from Bob Watin was bold enough to tell Sir John in the presence of the president that this is the danger, the number one danger to our forest. What did the president do? He did nothing. You understand? Professor Fripo Bwati mentioned his names. He mentioned the name of Professor Mr. Solomon Wuzo, can I ask you, yes. where you have a whole national coordinator program? That yes. started, of course, we had the, the media, and then also we had a national yes. coordinator program uh, resulting in an IMC or the interministerial yes. committee, etc., yes. all being in place. Yes. That should be the pointer to everybody that the president meant <clears throat> what, what he meant, It right? was a camouflage. Camouflage. Yes. yes. That simp simplicity. Because if you look at the detailed report that was submitted to the, to the chief of staff, to the president, for which nothing was done, then nobody can convince me that the president meant it when he said he was putting his president on the line. Ah, but you have been told that the president aids a businessman to ship 40 to 60 million dollars of worth of gold every month from this country. Didn't you listen to Alistair Matthias? You mean the gold mafia documentary? <laughs> but where is the president having any, any gold company in this country? Has he registered any mining company in this country? This understand. is a precedent. No, you must be able to ship gold when you have a company or when you are into the, the business of buying gold. And mind you, all these multinational companies that are into gold production, they have often taken agreement. So they don't produce looking for market. So the president couldn't have bought the gold that he was shipping out from these multinational companies. Hmm. It means these gold are coming from the Galamse business. You understand? So clearly, this president has shown proven or proven beyond reasonable doubt that in this business of Galamse, he is very much involved. And that is why huh? we cannot take one. Ah, this is the president that sent to parliament. You, 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 you cannot make that conclusion. Ah, but he sent LI 2462 to parliament for our forest to be given to people to be mined. We are in a country where we are told that we are doing what we call gold for oil. Have you asked yourself where the government gets the gold? Is the government getting the gold from these multinational companies or getting it from these illegal miners? So clearly, we cannot fight it because the people that ought to take the decisions are not doing so. And, 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 and their communicators, I don't know who is giving that strategy, that go on various platforms, say we are not going to fight Gallam, say, and think that by virtue of this, you are going to win power. That doesn't win power. The behavior of Dr. Ayu Efriye was total disrespect to Tunfu. Here is an MP from Ashanti region. That the king of he's the land. Correct that. No, he no, is correct. But what? What? What is correct? Uh, everything no, no, you must correct. What is that? Say. Okay, what? What? You can say. Total disrespect to Tunfu. The behavior of you every year is a total disrespect to Tunfu. You know why? But so why? You have to ask me why. Why wouldn't you ask me why? Please conclude. You see this? No, no, no. Please conclude. This business of trying to try to for. How did you dispute to for? So then you are asking me how? No, but you can't. Please conclude for me. Why can't you say that I know that is the truth? Please conclude. This is the king of Ashanti preaching every day. These tooling people, chiefs who are involved in Galamsi, trying very hard, fighting very hard to prevent this menace. Then you have an MP who is supposed to be a subject. Going around telling people that we are not going to stop Galamse today, we are not going, going to stop Galamse tomorrow. Do you consider but he this? He did say that mm -hmm. all they want is responsible mining, no. not even people to go on water bodies. What, what is he talking about? What was, he, what was his business encouraging or promoting Galamse?